Now that we've had the opportunity to log some shots into our ES-12 app on the range, we're going to look back at how do we pull up that range data, how do we email it out, and manipulate it. So first, we're going to open up our Earnest Sports app in our iPad. Up at the top right hand corner, you'll notice historical range data. That's what we're going to touch. It gives us four different options on looking at our historical range data. First is going to be with club selection. So we're going to go look at that first. We'll go down to 7-iron and then we're going to hit view report. When the report comes up, you'll notice a visual onto a fairway and you'll notice a red line, yellow dashed, and a white dashed line. The red line is going to be the furthest distance you hit with your 7-iron. The white dash line will give you your shortest distance, and the yellow dash line is going to give you your average for that club with all the data that's logged into your iPad through all your range sessions. On the bottom, you will see your average ball speed, and then in the bubble in the bottom right, you'll see what club and your average yardage for that club. We'll go back to home screen to look at a different view. Through this view, we're going to look at select session. So we're going to open that up, we're going to pick a session and hit view report. Now this screen should look familiar to you because as you were on the range and you were hitting your shots, this is the screen where it was putting your lines of data in. And as you notice, there's roughly 50 shots of data in there. And you'll see different clubs as well. And so you can look at your individual shots. Now you can email these logs out and they'll go in an Excel format. And you could do that through email session at the bottom of your screen. There's also a delete session. If this is a session that maybe was a friend, uh, you don't want it to be logged in to be a representation of your shots, you can go ahead and delete individual sessions. And edit will give you the option of going through and deleting particular lines of data. So if you see a, a hit that wasn't too good and you don't want to have that as a representation of that club, you can delete individual lines of data. Going back to home screen, we're going to look at the last two ways you can analyze your data, which is at the bottom, club gapping and club averages. Club gapping, as we touch that, you'll see it'll go through all the clubs in your bag that you have data logged in your app. The first screen at the top right tells you it's a 9-iron through a 5-iron, and it'll give you your distances through a bar chart on each club that you have data saved. Hit that again, goes to the next group in your bag, and again, you hit it, it will go to your club averages. Now this is going to be a familiar screenshot. As you see, you have all the clubs in your bag displayed on the screen. Now we've added a neat feature to this to give you some nice graphics. If we touch on one of the shots, you'll notice that it so shows you the shot going from the fairway to the green. It's going to do this from your wedges up to your 5-iron and then from your 4-iron to your driver, it's going to show your shot from the tee box out to the fairway. And it's going to give you an accurate representation of distance. And this is how you go through when you look at your historical range data with the ES-12.